Welcome to Lefnir's Life Hacks. My name is Tyler Rinelli, aka Lefnir, and I'm known for two things a podcast called Machine Learning Guide, where I teach machine learning and artificial intelligence. And as the creator of a website and mobile app called Habitica, Habitica is a gamified habit tracker. So it uses game mechanics in the style of a Super Nintendo 8-bit role-playing game to help you improve your behaviors. So when you go to the gym and you eat healthy, you get points and level up. When you smoke a cigarette or drink a beer, you lose health points and so on. As Habitica's creator, Habitica being sort of the ultimate in life hacks, in the style of things I'm going to be discussing in this podcast, there's a sort of homage or tie-in to the type of tricks you can use to improving your life and your behavior and gain efficiencies and productivity. So that's where Lefnir comes from in the title. And as for life hacks, well, that's what we're doing in this podcast. I'm going to be teaching you tips and tricks that maybe you haven't thought of before. Things that will improve your day-to-day -day experiences, especially around efficiencies and productivity gains. Work smarter, not harder is kind of going to be the, the mantra here. So the topics I'll be discussing are not things that you would have thought of normally. I'm not going to tell you to eat your vegetables and go to sleep on time. I'm going to be discussing things that you very likely have either not heard of or you've heard of and maybe you'd like some more information about. So the best example is an episode I'm going to be doing around walking desks or treadmill desks. I'm going to teach you all of the benefits that a treadmill desk has on your productivity in terms of endorphins and blood flow that keeps your mind alert and awake, while at the same time getting the exercise out of your system, you can usually get up to 20,000 steps per day, which is well over the CDC's recommended 10K steps, meaning you don't have to go to the gym, saving you a lot of time and money, while also improving your concentration and alertness through the day. Those are the types of things I'll be discussing, things you haven't thought of before. And this is in the spirit sort of of a website called lifehacker.com. Way back in the founding days of Habitica, back when it was Habit RPG, I was obsessed with a website called lifehacker.com. They used to teach these types of unthought of tips and tricks for your life. And I loved it so much. I don't remember if it was just a blog post or a comment by one of their moderators or what, but they recommended this spreadsheet system where you track your dailies and you color code them based on how well you're doing over the course of a week. I read that post and created Habitica. Nowadays, lifehacker.com is a bit of a product reviews website. Unfortunately, I think they've gone a little away from these really cool tips and tricks and efficiencies that you may not have thought of. Maybe there's only so much you can say on the matter. Who knows? We'll see how many episodes I end up churning out. And hopefully it's not just this inevitable path to product reviews. I will be discussing products in this podcast. I will definitely have product reviews, but it'll be things that I use as part of these really well-oiled productivity efficiency gains that you can have in your life. Now, I mentioned Habitica quite a lot in this intro episode. Don't worry, I'm not going to be talking about Habitica very much at all throughout this series. I will have one episode on how I use Habitica. I did see like on Reddit and in my conversations through the years, people not knowing how to get the best out of it. I have a lot of opinions on how to get the best out of it. So I'll have one episode on Habitica, but I'll otherwise probably never mention it again. I actually don't work with the company anymore, but mostly I'm just gonna be talking about tips and tricks you can use to improve your life. So I'll have one episode on Habitica and how to use it optimally. I'll have one episode on treadmill desks. I'll have an episode on sleep hacks. A little preview there is, you know, besides obviously putting your phone away and making sure you get magnesium in your diet and going to bed on time, I'm going to be talking a lot about meditation right before sleep. What was an age-old solution of counting sheep actually has a lot of merit, namely getting your mental resources out of what's called the default mode network of your brain and into the task forward network of your brain, your prefrontal cortex, which is nothing more than meditation, which takes you out of the ruminative cycle associated with anxiety and depression that keeps you up at night. And a training wheels trick along that path, namely reading a book to go to sleep. There's a reason people read to go to sleep is because it performs a very similar task inside of your brain as meditation does. So one episode on sleep hacks. I'm going to have an episode on just mental wellness, period. Plain and simple. 
I'm thinking of calling that episode Attention is All You Need. It's going to be all about mindfulness, but it's going to be a little different than you expect. I'm not just going to say meditate 10 to 15 minutes every day and it's going to improve your mental wellness. I'm going to go into a little bit of the science there, other things you can do besides counting your breath and the types of downstream consequences it has. Now, if you're coming from usage or interest in Habitica, this will absolutely be home base for you. This should all be stuff that you might care about. If you're coming from Machine Learning Guide, please do look at some of the productivity episodes I talk about, like the treadmill desk. A lot of Machine Learning Guide listeners are students of machine learning, people trying to learn machine learning. And I do discuss a lot of things that can help your studying and your learning process and behaviors things that will help you gain efficiencies in both time-saving tactics and improvements towards the learning process. Last thing, go to the website ocdevel.com. That's O-C-D-E-V-E-L.com forward slash L-L-H, Lefnir's Life Hacks. And comment in any of the episodes, probably this one, comment section at the bottom, and tell me your life hacks. I have quite a lot of tricks up my sleeve that I'll be discussing, but I've met a lot of people in my journey that have wowed me with some trick that has really improved my life. So I would love to experiment with and report back on some life hacks that come from the community. With that, I will see you in the next episode. 